Hi everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Cape Rides with me, host Sam. Today we're bringing you an absolute special. We have managed to track down one of the biggest Honda owners in the whole of Cape Town and not only one of the biggest Honda owners but one of the biggest Honda VTEC owners. Over his driving career he has had seven Hondas which is all absolutely immaculate and six of them has been Honda VTECs. Ladies and gentlemen, today we present to you Taslim Pathan. Hi Tasneem, welcome to Cape Rides. Thanks man, thanks for having me. How's it going? Good and you? Yeah, can't complain. So today we are here today because you've got one of the best Honda collections. This over here is your daily driver now. Yeah, besides the fact that I'm wearing an Audi cap, uh, that's my daily driver, Honda Jazz, nice job, gets me to work. And not to mention that it's a full house as well, it's the Honda VTX That's right. It's a nice car, but that's not actually the reason why we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason why we are here. And there we go, one of the neatest stock standard, if not the neatest, on the CRX in the whole of Cape Town. This one is basically the second generation which was launched in 1988 here in South Africa and went all the way up until 1982, this being a 1992 model. And South Africa didn't get the first generation one, the first generation one was launched in 1984, which had the pop-up lights. This basically takes its design cue from the Honda Ballard, the same timeline in the late 80s and it also shares the same engine, the 1.6 litre D-series dock engine. And that little engine pushed out 96 kilowatts, which was quite nifty and not only the fact that it's a good engine, the fact that the car itself weighs a little over 900 kilograms, so it's very very lightweight and the power to weight ratio means that this is one of the, you could say like the early 90s, late 80s uh, first pocket rockets. And the thing that's nice about it is the fact that it's it's compact but not claustrophobic. I mean, it's practical enough to get by, so as long as you don't expect too much of it. It's, it's a very nice, nice car and after having driven it, you realize that um, it's basically it's like driving a go-kart in a way. There's, the car that you take control, there's no fancy things like ABS and <laughs> I wouldn't say they're all that fancy, but yeah, no driver aids, ABS, ESP, traction control, any of that to take over. It's just you and this little car. As you can see over there, the interior is still very neat. This one being the third owner and there hasn't been anything done to the car. It's completely stock standard original. You can see the suede like bucket seats there as well with the CRX insignia on it. This car is just an absolute gem. Taslim is the third owner of the car as I said. It's got 196,000 kilometers on it and that's, that's quite little. I mean if you think that the car is over 26 years old He's got the books as well to prove it. The only downside about the car is that over there, you see that blue excuse of a back seat. There's not much of a back seat, so yeah. The only other problem we had with the car is that uh, those back shocks are a bit not that stable. I mean, they they at a point where they might need to be replaced soon. And as you can see over there, in that lovely dual shot, that sunroof still works perfectly fine. Who doesn't love a sunroof? 
so we're checking out the boot space over there and it's quite adequate for something that you would think is such a small little car and it's quite neat still so yeah i'm gonna try to get into that little space over there <laughs> okay so as we know the crx is a bit of a small car so what i'm gonna try to do now is to get into the back seat as you've seen in previous shots it's not very spacious but let me try it hope i'm not too fat here we go Okay, so I've got a big head. If you were a short person, I think you could you could you could sit comfortably at the back. But uh, if we were to close the seat, it's, I, I think I'm I'm getting a bit claustrophobic here. This wouldn't work out for me, guys. So yeah, for a single person, single driver, maybe a passenger, but more than that, no, I'm stuck. Okay, I got it. Let's get out. Yeah. Okay, not doing that again. For the tape rides, today we are sitting in Taslim Pathan CRX. Hi Taslim, how's it going? Hi, good and you? All good. Yeah. So, tell us a bit about yourself, like, uh, yeah? So, yeah, 31 years old, uh, born and breeding in Grassy Park. Yeah. Uh, always had a love for cars, especially on this since matric days. Uh, always sit, uh, told myself I need to get me on the VTEC. But uh, look at this guy, he's me. wearing an Audi cap, what is going on there? Uh, sorry man, I don't have, I only have a red on the cap and it doesn't go with my complexion. Okay <laughs> then, uh, but you should wear the Honda cap because you are Mr. Honda basically. You've had, uh, tell us what you've had in the past, you've had, running down from age from what you've started off with first, going okay. on to that. I okay. started off on the dock, silver one, okay, mm -hmm. got rid of that one, got the one, I got the EG Ballard. Which uh, engine? The standard stock standard it actually was a 150 okay then uh, just got some cosmetics going got the, got some mags uh, lowering kit etc uh, moved on to a 160 i civic um, awesome car damn exhaust coupe. coupe yeah uh, 1998 um, drove a body of mine's vtic and the next day i decided to sell my uh, 160 so okay. that's where, it where things changed like whoa things changed, drive. Yeah. so that kick of that vtic just changed it all Okay, so then got myself a nice uh, 2000 last lot new spec um, Civic VTEC. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so done some uh, mods to it, lowered it, um, basically chip, uh, scan cams, racing cams, and yeah, crazy car, fun. Uh, mm -hmm. After that, got a Ballard uh, uh, VTEC. Um, since then, actually, two, uh, two Ballard VTECs after that, uh, got a Type R F2. Um, enjoyed that car, smooth car, strong car, but didn't have the fun factor of the of the. And you didn't like connect it. with it basically, like with the like the road because you just sit high, your driving position and everything in that car. It's, just it's more computerized than like. You, you don't feel uh, you don't connect with the road like you yeah. would with the exactly. like the older car. So yeah. that's probably why you like this car. Yeah. A lot. Um, exactly for that, and then uh, a car that I always wanted was the CRX. Got that one. So this is your, 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 like your sort of your dream baby. Yeah, my unicorn as you say. <laughs> <laughs> we call it the unicorn because it's basically one of a kind. Yeah. What do you like most about this, this car, the CRX? So the CRX is designing, um, 80s slash 90s designing. It's a, a wedge type of fighter it's plane got that look. very, very, very like slanted, yeah. aggressive kind of so look. I call it the fighter rocket. Like a stealth rocket kind look. of look. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So that's what I like about it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay, in terms of uh, your favorite cars, where does this car rank, if you were to say? Favorite Hondas, I'd say, um, I'd say it ranks uh, number two after the S2000. Excellent. Yeah. So, okay, let's just rephrase that in terms of cars that you've owned personally. Hmm. Where does this, is this your favorite car of all time or that you've had? Like yes, you've definitely, been, yeah. So um, this is your baby, car, yeah, definitely. this is a 90? This is a, a 1992. 92 model. 92. Oh, okay, also the last lot of CRX. I was going to say now they, 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 they. Yeah, they started the from the 80, year. if I'm not mistaken, 88, 89, and uh, they ran up to 92. I think it is actually 88, yeah. So yeah, yeah. limited production cycle. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to like about this car: the power, the weight, mm. the, the 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 reliability, as well as the speed. But mm. if there's one thing that you dislike about it. What is it? Probably the practicality. So a lot of times I go out with friends, and as you can see, not no one can put in this car. So I'll and just have my like passenger a, and that's it. Immediate, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that's that's something that I that I dislike, but I think it comes with the with the um, with the territory. So power to weight ratio. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, the cause this cause very lightweight. So yeah. 
yeah so he's gonna give us a quick test drive let's see how it goes Do anything, there's no Standard burst of VTEC, it's yeah. just an exhaust that's done to it. And the thing about it is that the power to weight ratio is yeah. it's absolutely amazing. And there we go. Yeah, yeah. shot the slim for Thanks, having man. us. This I was absolutely awesome. This is brilliant. Awesome, man.